guys, what is up? Diamond Brooks Productions here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Harry Potter Aragog's Lair, this released in 2018, and it retails for $25 in New Zealand, and let's take a look at the figures. Here is Harry Potter, and he only came in one other set, which is the Hogwarts Express, and I don't have that, so it's a nice cheap way to get this variant. Um, and this, this is a really good Harry Potter set, mainly just because you get lots of pieces in a really cheap way. Like, you get this candle here. Like, you could probably get this on bricks and pieces, but if you don't use bricks and pieces, or if you can't stand the shipping costs, that's a really good inclusion. There's also a really nice torso. Um, this hair piece, which um, nowadays isn't really too special in my opinion, but back in 2018 it was the next best, like the next thing for Harry um, got a really nice face print, and, um, some nice back torso printing, and a nice alternate face, so, overall, this is a really nice Harry Potter figure, um, so, yeah, I'm so glad that, um, yeah, that he just comes in such a cheap set. And here is Ron, and here's the Luke Skywalker here in this orange colour, which, it's a nice cheap way to get that, um, this is actually kind of an uncommon piece, um, if I'm being honest, like, in cheap sets. I think this is the only cheap set it comes in, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, he does have this lantern, which is really nice, even though it's not as special as the candle because it comes in some CMFs and black and that. Um, he does have a nice alternate face and some really nice back torso printing. Um, so, yeah, although it would be cool if he had arm printing, I still think that this is just a really, really good figure. Now we're going to be looking at Aragog, which is, well, the villain of the set, and he's really nice, so he's got lots of posability. You can move the legs up and down, you can twist them forward like this. Some of them you can move a little bit side to side, and this, this can move up, although I don't know why you'd want to do that. These can move a little bit, and you can also bring them up if you wanted to, which it looks um, not that bad, although I do kind of um, like to have it moved down like that, in my opinion. Um, and the abdomen can be moved. And, yeah, um, these are printed pieces, and you get five of them in the set, because one's a spear. That looks really nice. I really like those eyes. And, um, yeah, if you want to see how this looks from the other underside, it doesn't look too bad, although you can see a bit of blue there. And if you want to know how these can move side to side, they're on those modified um, studs with the clip on the side. So, yeah. Overall, this reminds me quite a lot of Shelob from Lord of the Rings. And although I don't think this is as good as Shelob, I still really like this build. And here's this tree, and it looks really cool. So, um, it's got nice little details. Like, it's got these leaf pieces, which... Nowadays aren't really a big deal to me, but back in 2018 I was just really happy I finally got them. Sorry that this set is a bit dusty. It's been on display and I haven't really been like playing with it at all. Um, there's a nice mushroom, although I wish it was printed, but I think that print is retired now. There's this leaf, and here, this is a little shooting mechanism, which... Yeah, it's just a flick fire missile. One of the only flick fire missiles I've seen in quite a while. Um, and you can twist this if you want. Um, this doesn't shoot in the movie. I think what they might be going for is that maybe, um, like, you could, um, you know, have Aragog, like, shooting there. Like, you can, um, use some imagination, like, make it look like he's shooting, um, out of his butt or something. But, yeah. And there's this nice web here in white. And there's some more leaves. You can see how this looks at the top. And you get a whopping five of these newer style spiders. The old ones retired, and now there's these new ones. And they look super realistic. I mean, someone could actually actual think that this is a real spider. So yeah, um, and you get two of these. And two of the sorry, three of these in nougat. And... I believe this comes, in, this is actually kind of common, but I think this Nougat one is actually kind of rare. I think it only comes in Hagrid's hut, I think. Um, and, yeah, and these things look terrifying. So, I'm really glad that they have these. And also, if you want, you could put, like, a spider here, and that could um, be a bit of a good look. Um, 
Although I don't know if that's like the best for the parts, but yeah. Also, I really like how they have one, this like paddle piece here to represent the web. Um, I think that looks really nice. Um, although I, th I think they used it in the Forbidden Forest set. I might be wrong, but yeah. Overall, not much else to say about the set other than it was really good back in 2018. I think it's retired now, and um, I think nowadays people are selling it for like 50 sealed. Which um, is really weird thinking that this set only came out in 2018, but I think that this is a really nice set. And if you can find a good deal, or if it's like on clearance at like Target or Coles or whatever you use to buy Lego, um, I recommend you get it, Harry Potter fan or not. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later. Goodbye.